All right, Soul 107 Curiosity Rover. Now, the, the, the picture, the image we're looking at here is about 10 years old, okay? Uh, I'll leave a link below to the original NASA you know, website photo, okay? Uh, what are we looking at here? Now, let's talk about what it could be. It could be, you know, an old mission to Mars, maybe from the Soviet Union, maybe, you know, China, maybe a secret American mission. I mean, we don't know, but um, it looks pretty damn alien to me. Now, another thing I found really, you know, curious, right, compelling, <laughs> is, uh, you know, NASA didn't really offer any explanation as to what it is. When you go to their website, you know, they don't really tell you anything. And I've learned over the past 10 years of doing this type of research is, you know, whenever NASA is silent, that's typically when they're hiding something. Now, this little anomaly to the left here, I, um, I noticed that last night when I was editing my video, you know, I'm always hyper focused on the, on the main anomaly, you know, which obviously is the one, you know, to the right there, but you can see this like trail, almost like it crash landed. Uh, and you see this like trail of debris, right? Like the skid mark, you know, um, into the Martian surface here. And again, you know, you have to, you know, you at least have to admit that it's not natural, right? It's either man-made or alien. Okay, we'll take another quick look here. Again, it looks like maybe like a like a hockey puck. I don't quite know. But again, you can follow the trail all the way from the left to the right, you know, to the anomaly. And, um, you know, it's clearly a part of that crash right there. I mean, this is a crash landing on Mars, okay? Looks like some type of antenna, you know, popping out from the top there. All right, we'll have one more look here. Now, what I'm showing you now is the original video that I took. Now, remember, we're looking at an image, okay? I've done a lot of editing here, zooming in, zooming out, uh, added a few filters. That's why it looked tan earlier. But, um, you know, it looks like some type of melted metal. And again, you can see like where it just landed and kind of slid to the left. And it looks like some type of landing gear at the bottom. And again, this weird antenna, you know, coming out from the top, uh, almost like a molten metal, you know, like melted, you know, some type of maybe aluminum or alien alloy, you know, who knows, right? Could be man-made, could be alien, I don't know. Now there is a little weird orb on the left right there and, and this weird tunnel looking thing on the right, hard to see, but nonetheless, it's definitely there. Um, Okay, we'll zoom in, we'll pan up here uh, and have a look. And I, and I wanna, you know, mention again, of course, I added a filter right here, you know, to bring out the detail, okay? Uh, basically, uh, at this part of the video, I'm on my phone in my photo gallery, you know, trying to zoom in and give you guys, you know, a really good look. But, uh, you know, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of, well, not a lot, maybe two or three channels I've seen cover it. You know, none of them mention this object on the left over here. To me, that is clearly a part of the wreckage, right? And right there, I'm saving that photo, you know, so I can zoom in later. But, um, you know, incre an incredible photo. Like I said, you know, uh, probably about 10 years old, and we don't have any type of, uh, you know, explanation out of NASA, typical. And uh, I don't know what it is, you know. You know, again, could be Soviet Union, could be China, could be American, could be alien. You know, as always, you guys decide. So leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. You guys have a wonderful evening.